Becoming an entrepreneur was an interesting path for me. I started off working with systems and not knowing I was a builder of systems. And it wasn't until I built my first business where I saw myself dealing with a lot of emerging technology that people didn't fully understand, mostly mobile, um, and really pushed the envelope with a lot of people telling me, you can't do this or this isn't appropriate. This was before Android, this was before iPhone, but my instinct said, we need to do something here. Uh, we built a business in mobile, turned out to be really good timing, and starting to see some traction told me, I'm an entrepreneur, I can do this, I can build something and know when to filter out the noise, know when to pivot, uh, know how to make good decisions and focus to get something built and become a successful business. One of the hardest things to do at a startup is figure out what struggles or, or challenges you're going to have as a business, pure business, versus technology or something new if you're disrupting the world. So at Akamai, we were growing at great speed, hiring tons of people, moving into new spaces, building new processes and systems. At the same time, we were doing emergent technology. That was really hard. So understanding how to make decisions about just running the business, which oftentimes an entrepreneur doesn't want to think about. It's their cool idea or selling their cool thing. It's not necessarily the, the hard decisions that will determine, are you really a successful business, not just a cool technology? And that's something that I've taken forward with other businesses I've done and also worked with to help them think about straddling those two things and, and executing well on both. One of the things I can offer students when they come to meet with me is advice about their business. And that could be as simple as, I have an idea, is it a good one? And I can give you feedback and things to think about. But also, where are you going with your business if you're already building it? So uh, are you thinking about the right metrics to measure success? Are you thinking about the right people on your team and how to scale your business when it's beginning to grow, as well as raising money? And what does that mean and how do you want to go about doing that? One of the difficult things about being an entrepreneur is getting all sorts of advice and deciding which advice you're going to take and which advice you are going to ignore or disregard for now and go on with your thing. And so one of the things I try to help entrepreneurs do and some of the companies I've been working with, it's been super exciting, is okay, you've heard all that, make your decision. And if you tell me what I've told you is not what you're going to do, totally cool with that, um, go with it. I fully support you. And the entrepreneurs that I feel are really going to be successful are those who know how to do that.